Coming up on NTV News. Sophomore Showcase. CTSO Wall. Student Spotlight. And much more to come. Coming to you from NTV Studios, I'm Elijah Lovelace. And I'm Braden Russell, and we're bringing you the October news that matters. This month's student spotlight is Abby Gettinger. Abby is a junior from Claremore High School. Let's see what she's up to. What made me want to join teacher prep was to really get a head start on my career and really uh, figure out if I wanted to become a teacher or not. It's a great start. As a part of the teacher prep program, Abby prepares for a future in education by giving lessons to her peers, making lesson plans, and more. She is very optimistic and passionate about teaching younger kids. Oh, my favorite hobby is definitely dancing, but after that, it's a close second, comes to baking. I bake all the time. What made me want to teach was I love kids. I love working with them. They're super funny and smart. They're really smart. <laughs> Abby's on Claremore's dance team, taking part in competitions and halftime shows at football games. She's been dancing for a total of four years, starting in seventh grade at Will Rogers Junior High. Who inspired me was Miss Devers. She's a teacher at Rusa Elementary. She was my second grade teacher, and she was super welcoming and caring and awesome. After she graduates, Abby plans on going to Northeastern State University for her early education degree. From there, she hopes to pursue a career as a second grade teacher at Rosa Elementary in Claremont. Wow, she's very talented. I'm glad our future educators are good at what they do. Over the last couple of weeks, we have had a sophomore showcase. It was a blast giving sophomores a fresh look at what our programs entail. Let's go to Nicole White Day and Mrs. Odell, see what they have to say about it. This year's sophomore showcase was able to be held on campus. Ms. Odell tells us how many students attended this year. So how many bracelets do you think we gave away? We had about 800 students on campus, so approximately 2,400 bracelets. Oh wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, there, there you go. go. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit more. Keep going. I'm sure the we're going to hang out for a while. Here we go. An hour and a half. This also lets us know how it's important for them to be on campus and not virtual like last year. Oh, it's so important for the students to be here in person, actually get to um, use their hands, touch something, see something, um, see our great facilities, see our great instructors, uh, just hands down better to be here rather than virtual. I definitely agree with that. Yeah. That right there is our uh, vinyl where it just does like one color and this, this runoff color back here can do like multiple colors. Do you think it went well? Yes, I think it was very successful. We had um, a ton of students on campus, lots of good feedback from parents already, and as well as counselors from the sending high schools. That's really good. Good morning, afternoon, and welcome to this year's sophomore <laughs> news. We are your hosts. I'm Lexi. Lasagna. Oh, damn, no, because lasagna is nasty. <laughs> to do the balayage. I don't know if you guys know what the balayage is. So it's like. There we go. Now my wings are coming out. Students visited many programs they were interested in and had lots of fun. This has been Bo Webb with NTV News. 
It was a huge success. We had fun and the sophomores seemed to as well. October is finally here and today I'm going to bring our NTV scare cam. Ooh, spooky. I just did it. It's okay. It's okay. I'll be in here too. Yes, I will. Wow, that was spooky. We recently put together a CTSO wall. The CTSO wall is very unique and recognizes our students' accomplishments while having a sleek and appealing design. Hi, I'm Bergen with NTV News, and we're here in the admin building checking out our newest feature that Northeast Tech offers. And if you haven't seen it, you need to come check it out. This year has brought us some new signs. Now we have our brand new CTSO wall. This wall represents the organizations that our program associate with. As you can see behind me, we have our Educators Rising, BPA, NTHS, HOSA, and Skills USA. These signs signify some students who go above and beyond participating outside of their respective programs. For the rest of the school year, I challenge you to prove that you can be up here and you can be the next student representing your program. I'm very proud of our students for trying their hardest and showing their talent while representing our campus. Last month's Bedlam Blood Drive was a massive success. Yes, Elijah, it was wonderful and we actually have footage to share. My name is Robin Haley. I am a second year teacher with Health Careers. So I was first year last year, and now this is my second year, my first time to help with the blood drive. Compared to the past years, again, again, my second year here, but from what I understand is huge, huge numbers would donate. And with the pandemic, it's, they've not been able to go to the schools. So the, um, like OBI hasn't been able to go to the high schools to get participants. This is our first blood drive since 2019. So I mean, that just tells you it's been a while since the students have been able to donate. Hi, my name's Alyssa Adams and here at Votech, I am in the health careers. Why are you giving blood? I want to help people and I want to be able to help save lives. How do you think the pandemic has affected local blood drives? 
Um, I feel like not as many people are here to help donate blood. I mean, the people who are, it's really good because it's helping out a lot of people who haven't been able to have blood, and so we're just here saving lives. So a benefit to a student would be, the first one is just, um, you know, the feel good of I've done something for my community. I've helped a family member that had to give blood sometimes or had to get blood, and it's a payback in that fashion. Um, it's just being a nice human because the blood that the hospitals receive are all from donation. Like you don't get paid, the people that get paid for blood, that's not where the blood in the hospital comes from. Totally from volunteers. It, a high school student though can get um, cords for graduation if they donate enough units of blood. So that's, there's a benefit for that. Um, and just the satisfaction of I've helped somebody. The blood shortage is a bad thing for hospitals. So COVID, we've had a lot of ICU beds full or no ICU beds. Is that because of population? Is that because of no blood? They go together. As you are watching this broadcast, Munchkins on campus is taking place. Munchkins are trick-or-treating and they have a lot of candy. We hope everyone has a very fun and safe Halloween. Hopefully the weather treats us well. Don't forget to set your clocks back on November 7th for daylight savings time. Veterans Day is on November 11th. Thank you to all of our brave veterans for fighting for our country. We hope everyone had a great first nine weeks and a fun fall break. Thank you for tuning in to this month's Spooky News. This is Elijah. And Brayden. Have a fantastic Halloween. Boo, Boo Felicia. Felicia. Don't, Don't forget, forget the bloopers. bloopers. <laughs>